just watch Glass Onion. You saw it. Oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> You're so good in it. Oh, babe, thanks. I can't I, even hold back. I have another thing to talk to you about. Get into that right second. I can't. It's also, it's the walk. It's the character. It's the vamp. <laughs> and it's so delicious to watch. Oh, Do you babe. love this character? I what was your inspiration? Her. I love you in so many movies. <laughs> like, so many. I mean, I, the list is so long, but this character, this new woman, I don't feel like I've met her before. No, she's new. <laughs> Who is she? I'm so sad that, you know, it's like, I'm like, uh, I wish, well, there's not much I can say, actually. Yeah, because it's like. Because I still have to wait, right? It's such a mystery. The whole point of these movies mystery. is it's brought the mystery genre That's back. right, and you don't want to ruin anything for anybody. But Bert, playing Birdie J was one of the great joys. For me. And you pull it off so brilliantly. It's like, babe, I, I love you it's for saying true. that. Because you're, you're it's just so good. But in fact, we have, we have a clip uh, from Glass Onion. I just got itchy. That's how much I'm into it. I've got hives. Take a look. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my God. We can't hug, right? No. I mean, can we? I Hi, just want to hug everybody. Hey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi. Yes, please. Did you two stay at the hotel last night? I didn't see you. No, Bertie, we clearly just arrived. But you, hello, stranger danger. <laughs> oh, hello. The hat. I mean, look, as a little girl, when your dream is to be performing, whether it be on a stage or on camera, you just want a hat. It's like, just give me the hat. And give me, you know, give me, give you the light and the hat tip up like Ingrid Bergman in Casablanca. And you're just like, yeah, you just never get those opportunities, you know? Yep. And, and, and I got one with Penny Lane going to Morocco at the end of the oh. movie. I got a hat tip. Oh, and, then, and, and then Ryan gave me the hat and this, I was so happy. I was like, oh God, I just give me a hat. I mean, you are such it's a great. good actor. I, uh, <laughs> Like, oh, good. Yes. Ah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Speaking of actors, we were talking about the Wilsons the last time you yes. were here. We talked, I dated Luke. I dated Owen. Did you ever hear from one of them? No. Neither did I. <laughs> Absolutely not. And I don't think I have either of their phone numbers anymore. I definitely don't have their numbers. Because I was like, if would they... I might have Luke's. I might have Owen's if he hasn't changed his cell phone number. <laughs> How do we have the other ones? I feel uh, like we should I have, prank I call think them. I have... <laughs> we should do it on the show. <laughs> I think I think we should. I think <laughs> absolutely. I haven't. Um, You're gonna have. You gotta have them on the show at some point. I, you know what? It'll Luke be a... was supposed to come on, and then I think because of like something like a film, he had to be thwarted. Yeah, typical Wilson. I know. I was like, <laughs> is it really, or did you just get elusive, Luke? <laughs> he needs to cut the you. elusive Wilsons. The elusive. The el <laughs> yeah, he does need to come on here. I, oh, I, yeah. That's part oh, of the that'd fun. Be so is fun. Talking about. I, I bet he's. I bet he's terrified. He probably thinks like you would just be go so to open. <laughs> yeah, and he's not. So like, yes, which is why it, it would, would be, be so, so good. I know. <laughs> Luke, Luke, you gotta come on this show. And oh. by the way, you know me. I'm not a gotcha person. We'll have so much fun. You know, because, I, like, <laughs> Justin Long came, we did the, I asked him oh, to come I on the show. Oh, I heard about that. And I was like, how do you mind being the season premiere? <laughs> and he was like, okay, like, <laughs> okay. And I think it's so fun to celebrate Jeez. and champion your exes. You may not have the same relationship. It's true. Do you guys think that's funny? And if so, yeah, why? Like, what's so funny? I was like, what is so <laughs> <laughs> because no, I agree with you. you on a serious note. On a serious note. Yeah, I mean, look, we carry ugh, so much pain, and with like pain of relationships ending and your ego, and however, it, you know, there's maybe usually someone who's feeling a little more pain than another. Yep. And if you can't get past that, and you can't move past that, you're just holding it. 
And like, I think love changes form. You, you don't just stop loving someone. Agreed. You know, even, even, even in the worst possible scenario, meaning, I mean, well, maybe there's a couple wor worse that, you know. Maybe there's right. a few there's toxic a few, old right, bags right. you gotta get out of the but picture. Even, even in like relationships where things can go really south. Yes. I believe there's always a way back to, to uh, finding a place where you can have compassion and s still feel that love just differently. Also, I've made mistakes in my past. So You have? I have never. <laughs> <laughs> I am perfect in relationships. <laughs> Which no. is why you're so forgiving. <laughs> it's oh. true. It's like, you know what, man? You screwed up. I screwed, I screwed up. up. We uh, Sometimes you literally break up with nothing to point to, which is very hard and confusing. Yeah. You know, sometimes there's no scandal or I, particular reason. There's all different forms, but. I also think red, f I, I find it to be a red flag when someone blames someone in a relationship. Like if I meet a new guy and he's like, oh, she's crazy or, oh, she's blah, 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 blah. I'm like, ooh. I don't like that. That's I not a good sign. I totally agree. Right? I completely agree. I went on a date who trash talked his ex-wife and then his like other ex-wife yeah, and then no. the brother of and he just All their problems. kept going down the line. I just thought, Yeah, You're... what did you do? Yeah, what's your part in this? What is she saying about you? I just was you like, know? why are you such a negative human being? And I actually like some of the people. I'm mentioning them because we know them in common. That's very bold that you wouldn't even have the sensitivity or awareness to think, what if I liked them? How would I feel about you coming at them with such heat? But I, I just think this person was very devoid of any awareness. So <laughs> I think that was their problem to begin with. But I totally agree. We should champion our exes. Like, we should be able to, and you don't have to be best friends, especially if they have a new person in their life. You know, there's no reason that any relationship has to go so far that it makes their new person uncomfortable. It's more of a, I think it's weird to be like, as if this didn't take place or yeah. happen, and it becomes taboo. That is bizarre to me, especially when, you know, I am co I'm co-parenting with someone. Yeah. And although we not, might not be married anymore, and he's even married with his beautiful new wife, Ali, our wonderful stepmother, we're in a daily engagement. Yeah. And our relationship family. has never been better. That's and it's a different dream. Yeah. I feel, I feel the same about, I mean, Chris is now, Ryder's off to college. I can't We're not like writers it. off to college. I know, I, just I know. Can't believe what it. happened. And also, you look exactly the and same as when you had him, so that's also weird. <laughs> I was also like, tw I was 24 when I had Ryder, so I look back at those pictures and I'm like, oh my, I was such a baby, you know? It's kind of wild. But, oh, uh, there's my Sam. Oh. Oh, it's yeah, gone. there it is. There um, she is. But, oh, my God. Look at him. He's, he's so much taller. I know. Oh, my God. I guess that's what happens. I know. He's 6'1". Oh, my God. 6'1". Yeah. And I'm so happy because I was always like, Ryder, you got like, to, like, get, do some cardio. or You know, like, teenagers get go to this weird phase. Some teenagers. Some are athletic and are constantly into it. But Ryder's like an artsy guy, you know. Yeah, no, I'm like Ryder. I yeah, he was finger. like, I'm like, go for a run. Like, go work out or something. And, and he's you? like, Mom, please. Now, cut like, to. He's just like, he's like buff. He's into it. Like, I... I I, you know, I rubbed off on him, I think, a little bit. He's, like, working out every day. Can you I'm rub like, off oh, on me, coming. please? I need a health and wellness like, program. Yeah. You know? All right, we have to take a quick break. I'm going to grab my phone. We're going to prank a Wilson, and we're going to come right back because I've got some other fun stuff to talk about. We'll be right back. Uh, 